when do you think you'll know it's time to say goodbye to the cameras? <sighs> I didn't think you were gonna ask me that, but honestly, I, I wanna go ahead and say goodbye. If I'm being completely honest. I'm watching this season of Mama June Road to Redemption. How do you feel about this newest chapter in your life being all packaged up and being released out into the world? It's definitely hard because people have their own opinions, you know, like people can be cruel, some people can be nice, some people are supportive, some people aren't. But a lot of the times the support and the love from our fans, honestly, is what keeps us going in production. Before we get into this season, last season, lots of challenging moments, really tough moments to watch as a viewer. It's your life, Pumpkin. You're actually living right. it. So what do you think and how do you feel when you look back on all that? It is hard. Um, like even being in production and stuff going on in our life like that was a tough, a tough time, you know, because it's like, I'm also trying to deal with it personally. And then I'm also having to film it, you know? So I don't want to go back into that mental place that I was when my mama was into, you know, her addiction and me having to step up and do all the things that I was doing and not really taking care of myself. Because at this point, I really do feel like I have worked hard as a woman, like therapy and really like working and taking the time for myself and for my family. I honestly just kind of hate going back to the past. Sometimes I don't think I'm fully prepared to listen to the full story just yet, only because that is me trying to protect myself. And you don't want to hear that your mom spent a million dollars on crack, you know, a year, you know? That's not something that you really brag about or can bring up in a conversation because it's kind of embarrassing, really. I've had um, things happen, especially during um, mama's addiction, where like I was trying to apply for jobs and they wouldn't hire me because they seen what was going on with her. Really? Yeah, I have one specific job specifically, I was gonna work at an outlet place. And the lady, like, that's the first thing she brought up was like, oh, your mom is all in the media and I don't want that bot to work. But it's just like, just because my mom is a certain type of person doesn't mean that I am. No, and Pumpkin, I am so sorry to hear that. She's telling everybody that she's sober, but then again, I don't believe her because you're still with Gino. So that probably means still underneath Gino's control. And until she gets that out of the way, then she's not really allowed around me and my family. This season on Mama June Road to Redemption, the big theme really seems to be your and your sister's estrangement from your mom as she right. continues to heal and practice sobriety. How is your relationship with your mom as it stands today? Uh, as it stands today, like we haven't seen each other in a year. So that that is very complicated um, going on and on with life and, you know, not being able to share those little moments with my mom. I think not only for me, but for Alana and even for Ella, because she does love her Gigi. She does love being around her. She may be sober, but I also don't want to take any chances because before when she would say she was sober, she wasn't necessarily sober. So I spoke with your mom about a week and a half ago. As of the 27th of this month, we'll be 14 months clean off of cocaine and been that way, no, no relapses. Do you believe her and, and how do you feel about that? Um, I definitely do think that this time is different as far as her sobriety goes, only because before we were kind of forcing the rehab on her. And this time it was different. She reached out for the help. She, her and Gina both wanted to go to rehab. So it's, it's not necessarily that I'm not proud of her. I just also don't want to get me or the kids' hopes up like I have several times before. So you said you haven't seen your mom in a year? Right. Okay. Alana, it's been a little bit longer. So what did I see in the teaser of you guys having like a sit down? And you'll see that we sit down and me after a year and that's hard for sure. Like a lot of emotions there. Um, it, that is definitely going to be a watch for a lot of people. I feel like me and Alana definitely got things that we needed to get off of our chest that she needed to hear in her recovery process. There's a lot of things that I need to see. I need to see more than 30 days in rehab. I just need mama to be a different mama. I need her to not sugarcoat and lie anymore. I need an open line of communication. You know, I, I asked her when I spoke with her a couple of weeks ago about you and how you are such a stellar woman and um, you really deserve a lot of praise and I commend you for all the great Thank work you. that you do, Pumpkin. I wanna play you the kind words that your mom had to say about you. One, I mean, I'm very proud of her, for and foremost. Um, you know, and our family has always been close. So did she have to step up? No. Did she choose to step up? Yes. Am I very grateful for that? Yes, and I will always be. She's done a damn good job. 
But, you know, we've always been so close that I knew without a shadow of a doubt when this situation happened, um, was it, I felt great about it? No, sorry, hell no, I didn't. But, you know, I knew that Pumpkin wasn't going to allow it to happen to her. Yeah, I mean, I am very appreciative when Mama is thankful and grateful for the things that I have done because I didn't get that in the beginning. And now that she's sober and in her clear mind, it is great to hear her say, you know, I'm grateful for you and thank you for taking care of Alana because before, like in her addiction, she was like, oh, well, Alana chooses to live with you. And it's like, no, that, that's not the case. <laughs> There's a, a lot of chatter online about your mom and the kind of mom that she is. I'm curious if you read any of those things and, and how does it make you feel? I don't read any of those things. One thing I will say is raising, being raised by my mother was completely different than how I'm raising Ella and Alana. And I want to continue it to be that way. I don't want to keep things from Alana or Ella. I want it to be an open door policy. We didn't have that with my mom growing up. She wasn't the type to say, I love you every time she walked in and out of the door. She wasn't the type to say, I love you every time, you know, she hung up on the phone with us. I want them to live a much healthier lifestyle and not have so many problems when they get to my age, like mental health issues and things like trusting, like I have had in the past. You bring up your mental health. I just, I, I wanna ask you, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing really good. Like compared to honestly where I was two years ago, like I've been to therapy um, since September of last year. Um, and that really helped me. You've been super open and vocal that you're not a Gino fan. We all hated Gino because mama picked him and drugs over us. Where does your relationship with Gino stand today? Um, like you said, I don't keep that a secret. Like my mama has said several times there, he's not going anywhere and they're not going to split up in things. So it's like, I kind of have to get used to that. I'm also not too concerned with like fixing things with him from the past, because to me, he is a temporary person. My mama has always said like, it would just be, you know, her and the girls. And it always has been that way. So ultimately in the end, whether it be five years from now, whether it be two months from now and Gino and mama split or something, He's just a temporary person. So it's like, why do I want to just waste my time and, and fix that? The person who was manipulative and stuff during the addiction and used your money and all these things, just like, you're just letting him right back in. That's that's a part of the addiction process. She not only had an addiction problem to drugs, she still has a Gino addiction problem. You know, I did ask your mom because you did pumpkin issue an ultimatum. We can't just forgive and forget overnight. You let a man come between your kids. She's got to prove to us that she's all better. And I asked her, I was like, if it really comes down to it, who are you picking? And that's a no brainer. I mean, you always pick your kids. Men come and go. Kids and kids, kids in some family always stay. It's just hard for me because it's a very argumentative thing. Sometimes she'll be like, oh, no doubt I'll pick my girls, but then you're still staying in Florida with Gino. And yes, I get it for sobriety, but what happens after like you could move, you know, you know, and you're in a better place and you know you're not gonna slip up and things like that. Then what happens? Are you still gonna stay in Florida or are you gonna come home? I wouldn't want her to move back to Georgia just so it would be better on me. It'd be better for Alana. It'd be better for us as a whole family in general. Do you think that there's a world that exists where you, your mom and Gino can all peacefully coexist? I hope that it doesn't have to come to that. If I'm being honest, like I hope that he's just not around in like the next year or the next two years or what, however long it takes. When was the last time you spoke with him or saw him? Um, I don't really speak to him like that. Look, I do want to ask you about social media because I do see you follow Gina and he follows you. Do you right. guys keep up? Do you keep up with each other? Um, no, like I do know during like the mix of addiction or whatever, um, I would just check mama's socials, you know, not his too much because I don't really care. Like the stuff that Gino posts on his timeline, it's kind of pointless for me. Like, I feel like I lose brain cells reading some of the stuff that he posts. And why follow him? Oh, uh, cause I guess, cause I followed him from a while back, like before addiction times. And of course, you know, your mom and Gino still have their looming court case. What kind of conversations as a family do you have to, to brace for what may come? We talked about it, you know, like if this does happen, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I just kind of learned to let things go. I don't let things stress me out, but I definitely do worry about Alana for sure, because that is her mom. 
like she doesn't want her mom in jail. None of us want mama in jail, but you know, we also know that there was consequences behind her recovery process. You know, I love being a mom. What? With these like terrible twos, about to be three. I'm about to pull my hair out. I need a break. I want you to take a second and and kind of reflect on the maturity. You're a wife, you're a mom, you're a guardian, and you're you're only 21. Yes, you're a woman, but you're still young. Right. Um, how does all of that feel? How does that weigh on your shoulders? Before, like, I couldn't handle it. It was just too much. Like, it's just completely different raising a three-year-old and a 15-year-old, like, at all. <laughs> you know, like, one, you just kind of like, oh yeah, get a toy and you go about your day. But Alana needs a $200 pair of shoes or something. And it's like, that's hard for me sometimes because, you know, we work normal jobs too. We do this filming thing, but we're not millionaires. We're not Kim Kardashian. You know, we don't make that type of money. And it is stressful when like some months we had to let bills pass because Alana needed a new pair of shoes or some months we had to let a bill pass because Ella needed new clothes. We always make sure that the kids have more than we had at, at their age. And is Alana still currently living with you? Yes, she is. This is actually her bedroom. Oh, you're in Alana's bedroom. Yeah, I know, because this thing keeps popping up. <laughs> How is she doing today? She's doing a lot better, honestly. Like, ever since she came back to school, she's got like a 93 in the class and has really been catching up on her assignments. So, I mean, I'm very impressed with Alana. Like, considering where she was two years ago, both of us, like, in the state of mind that we were in, the situations that we were going through, we really have overcome that. I've lost 40 pounds and I really am trying to do better. You know, you don't have to brag about your whole 40 pound weight loss. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to eat a few vegetables like I do. We also see a little bit on the show, you talking about your health and your health journey. So I'm curious, how are things going? Where are you at with all of that? Um, things have been going great. Two years ago, like in the midst of mama's addiction before she went to rehab and stuff, I just kind of found myself like laying around the house, eating all the time, just like drinking sodas whenever I wanted to. And I just noticed like I started getting bigger. I was like 280 and now I'm like 220. Eventually I do want to just only get a tummy tuck because I am just very insecure about my stomach. Well, I think, and I support you doing whatever you need to do to feel your best. Oh, I feel dizzy. We've watched you grow up on television over the last decade. When do you think you'll know it's time to say goodbye to the cameras? So, I didn't think you were gonna ask me that, but honestly, I, I wanna go ahead and say goodbye. If I'm being completely honest, only because a lot of grew up doing this um, and you don't really have a normal life during production. You don't, we have two days off a week and I can't get my life together in two days. I enjoy doing the show. I enjoy the income that it brings. I enjoy the lives that we impact, but it's just like, ultimately I want to go and be a nurse at a hospital. I want to go and make an impact in a hospital somewhere. TV is not something that, I think any of us really want to do anymore, but we kind of just keep pushing ourselves. Yeah, I mean, I, I, are, are you still in it like for the next couple of years or do you think this, this decision to go to nursing school, could that happen pretty soon? I mean, I think I can make the decision whenever I wanted to, quite frankly, but you know, with contracts and everything, there's more, much more complicated than it really is. Alana as well wants to be able to be a teenager and not have to worry about like, okay, I have to go film today at two o'clock instead of like, okay, I can't hang out. I, I want to go hang out with my friends. It is very complicated because we miss out on very important things. And a lot of people don't realize that they're like, oh, well, you know, the money's nice. You won't make that anywhere else. And it's like, that may be true. But I also can't get back all the birthdays I've missed from Josh's family. I also can't get back the family reunions, you know, birthday parties, um, Christmases and things like that, that I have missed. Yeah, it's definitely a trade off. Do you ever wish that reality TV had never entered your life? Do you feel like it, you know, took away from your childhood? I say yes, because I feel like it took away from our childhood, you know, and I do feel like 
you know, it was so quick, you know, everything like I was 11, Alana was six and we've been doing it ever since then, you know, and it's frustrating. Like I said, you can't go and do things, but then I also say no, because that it didn't ruin our childhood because we were able to do a lot more things than the average people that were our age. I'm very grateful for the things that TV land has kind of brought to us and been able to allow us to do, but it definitely is getting to the point where it's kind of like, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. I mean, do you have a timeline on that? I don't have a timeline on that name. Okay. You're just starting to feel the itch and you might be ready right. to call it. I mean, all of us have been kind of feeling the itch for a long time now, but then it's like, oh, you get your contract and you know, it's like, well, we really need the money. Well, would you consider doing a spinoff series? I'd honestly probably just convert to YouTube or TikTok because like people are making money on there, you know? And ultimately I do want to do a YouTube, like just with um, just with the little family that we have here in our house, like me, Josh, Jessica, and Alana and Ella. I think that we could be funny. I think that we could make that, you know, kind of like a source of income as well. And also just for fans to kind of keep up.